Thank you for joining me here for this review of Netflix's The Umbrella Academy. Now this is a show that has been released recently on Netflix. It's a sci-fi series. It's following a Dark Horse Comics um, run from about 15, 20 years ago, something like that. I don't know much about the comics myself, but it looked interesting when I saw it on Netflix and I was kind of attracted to the sort of X-Men type vibe that it's got going on with these misfit characters attending a academy for the gifted, let's put it that way. Not Xavier's Academy for the Gifted, a different academy for the gifted. Now, I thought this was really, really interesting, especially with Netflix recently cancelling a lot of its Marvel TV shows, cancelling Daredevil, getting rid of Punisher, getting rid of Jessica Jones. All of those have been sort of sent to one side. I guess those are going to go on to Disney at some point. And Netflix have seemed to focus on IP that they control or that they can actually control without necessarily that kind of Disney influence. Um, I thought this was a fantastic, fantastic TV show. It can be a little bit slow in parts. It has times when I think it just takes its time to get to the message of the story that it wants to deliver. But the way that they address these separate characters of kids who are all born on the same day, all born to mothers who were not pregnant at the start of that day. So the, the, you know, the circumstances of their birth are extremely mysterious. There were, I think, about 47 of these kids born worldwide, of which seven of them ended up at this Umbrella Academy, where they were uh, gathered up by this eccentric billionaire who then raises them based on special abilities that they have to fight crime. It's, it's a fantastic standalone, completely different, non-DC, non-Marvel, non-Fox X-Men style take, and I think Netflix suits it perfectly. As a series, getting to know these characters, understanding who they are, does a great job of introducing the characters. It does a great job of, through flashbacks, filling us in on events that have happened in the past, on exposing or revealing different details about the characters, about how they have, let's say, reached the place where they are. All of the children were numbered from one to seven, so number one, number two, number three. Their names were given to them later. Their father never gave them names. They are given names by their mother. And it's a, it's a very interesting story when we understand about how some of them have gone missing, either short-term, long-term. How is it that they've not been relating to each other as well recently? They're not sort of getting along as siblings. And how is this sort of family dynamic played out? The TV show covers time travel, your typical strength, fighting, knife play type special abilities, mind control to a certain extent. And it's it's got great depth to the characters. I thought they were all given a decent amount of time to be fleshed out. My favorite character by far is Klaus. And the that's number four, I believe. Yeah, number four. And I, I love that guy. He was fantastic in Misfits. Um, another sort of off the wall, different style of superhero type thing. And yeah, he was great in that show as a, a guy who could never die. He would always come back to life. Um, didn't think he had powers. And there's a little bit of, I guess, reflection of that in this show. There's an element of someone who doesn't have powers and someone who has to kind of discover what their role is in this group as we learn about the potential ending of the universe or ending of the world in um, six days time. Overall, it's a fab show. I binged it, so I watched the whole thing in two days. I'm now starting again to watch it with my wife and it is, for me, a very solid, great eight out of 10. Great, great TV show, well worth watching, interesting characters and refreshing to have something that is long enough to really get your teeth into, that isn't Marvel, isn't DC and therefore feels fresh. It feels new. I'd never heard these characters before and I'm loving it. Really think it's great. So have you seen it? What do you think about it? If you've got any comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, you can reach me through my email address, which is julietisnoir at gmail.com or through my website, julietnoir.uk. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks for joining me today and as ever. Bye. Bye.